the new Baby Lock Asante makes sewing more fun and more exciting than ever before. Whether sewing intricate detail or the basic lines of a classic, the Asante provides every sewer with the capability to make each sewing project look perfect and professional. And with touchscreen stitch selection, built-in sewing advice, and the endless selection of embroidery designs, it's practically effortless. This video is designed to be used in conjunction with your instruction book and the optional workbook available through your Baby Lock retailer. I know you'll enjoy watching this video and the Baby Lock Asante you have just purchased will give you years of pleasure. To begin setting up the Asante, plug the power cord into the right side of the machine. This is the cord for the foot control. The main power switch turns the machine and the sewing light on. When attaching the presser foot lifter, align it with the mounting slot and insert it into the machine. By pushing the presser foot lifter to the right with your knee, the presser foot can be raised and lifted and your hands are free to guide the fabric. The Asante has six selection keys from which to choose the category of sewing. Touch this utility switch key to select from over 60 stitches and directional sewing. The character decorative stitch key displays the built-in letters and numbers and punctuation in block, italic, or script and built-in decorative stitch patterns as well. The embroidery and embroidery edit keys are used when the embroidery arm is attached. The operation key provides basic guidelines for operating the machine. Touch the memory key to call up the memory function. You can control the speed range by the amount of pressure you apply to the foot control or by adjusting the speed range control lever conveniently located on the front of the machine. Move the range control lever to a lower position and the machine sews more slowly. Move the control up and the speed range will increase to the maximum. The start stop button can only be used when the foot control is not connected. Then the Asante will sew at the maximum speed set by the speed controller. Touch the reverse switch button to sew in reverse. It automatically selects slow speed and continues to sew in reverse until you release the button. The needle up down button brings the needle up to the highest position or down to the lowest position. The Asante has an automatic thread cutter. Touch the thread cutter and the top and bobbin thread will be brought to the underside of the fabric and cut. This button will also raise the needle to the highest position. You'll find a wide assortment of specialty presser feet located here in this compartment on the extension tray. When the entire tray is removed, the Asante is converted to free arm sewing. In this position, it's easy to sew hard to reach areas, such as those found on pant hems or sleeves. Of course, any sewing project begins with threading the machine. To see built-in instructions, touch the operation guide key and the screen displays a selection of illustrated threading guides. Touch bobbin winding. These numbers indicate this is the first page of five. Touch the page forward and back symbols to display the next page. Touch the page back symbol to return to the previous page. Touch N to return to the original screen. To wind a bobbin, Place a spool of thread on the spindle and cover the end with a thread cap to prevent tangling. There are three sizes of spool caps included in the accessory pouch. Use the spool cap that corresponds to the size of spool being used. Bring the thread through the bobbin winder tension by following this numbered illustration. Place the bobbin on the winder post matching the spring on the post with the notch on the bobbin. Holding the thread, 
Wrap the thread around the bobbin clockwise four or five times. Pass the end of the thread through the metal catch to trim. Now slide the speed control lever to its maximum speed. Push the bobbin to the right and start the machine. When the bobbin is full, stop the machine and push the bobbin to the left. Cut the thread and remove the full bobbin. Push the release for the bobbin cover to the right and lift the clear cover. Drop the bobbin into the shuttle so the bobbin turns counterclockwise as the thread unwinds. Bring the thread under the bobbin tension and through this curved groove. Pull the thread to cut and replace the cover. With the Asante's Quick Set Bobbin feature, it isn't even necessary to bring the bobbin thread up through the needle plate before you begin to sew. For upper threading, raise the presser foot. This releases the thread guard and ensures proper tension when sewing. Put the thread in place with a thread cap. Then bring the thread through this numbered path. One, two, three, four, five, then six. The needle threader will carry the thread right through the needle eye. Hold the thread in your right hand and to the left. Push the needle thread lever all the way down. Bring the thread to the right between the prongs and a mini hook will catch the thread. Release the lever and thread simultaneously. Pull the loop of thread to the back, place it under the foot, and you're ready to sew. The Asante has over 1150 stitches from which to choose. Selecting a stitch is easy, and customizing a stitch is just as easy. When Utility Stitch is selected, the first of five pages is displayed. Touch here and here to move from screen to screen. When you touch the desired stitch pattern, zigzag for instance, a diagram of that stitch and the recommended presser foot will appear. Touch this symbol to highlight the automatic reinforcement stitch key and a reinforcement stitch will be sewn at the beginning of the stitch. Touch the scissors to activate the automatic thread cutting and the Asante will trim the thread when the stitch is complete. To deactivate either function, simply touch the key again. When a stitch is selected, the Asante's computer adjusts the width, length, and the tension settings most commonly used for that stitch. When a stitch is selected, the screen immediately shows the options and the standard settings for that stitch are highlighted. To adjust stitch width, touch the right arrow to widen to a full 7 millimeters. Touch the left arrow to narrow the stitch. To adjust the stitch length, touch the up arrow to lengthen and the down arrow to shorten the stitch. Adjust the tension in the same way. The right arrow increases the thread tension. The left arrow decreases the thread tension. Touch Auto to return to the automatic tension setting. Once a stitch is selected, touch this key for advice on how to use that stitch. Advance through the pages and then touch Close when complete. For sewing information on a specific technique, touch here to display the selections. Touch the desired technique, then page through the directions, then touch end and the proper stitch and stitch settings will be automatically selected for that specific technique. Several straight stitches available on the Asante. Select the stitch according to the type of fabric and seam to be sewn. This is the left needle position straight stitch. This is the centered needle position straight stitch. And this is a triple straight stitch and a stitch for seaming stretch fabric and heavy woven fabrics. 
If you select the left needle option, the stitch width adjustment allows the needle to be moved into 14 different positions. Touch the right arrow on the stitch width and the needle moves anywhere from far left to far right in half millimeter increments. This is a handy feature for sewing multiple rows of top stitching with precision. Align the fabric edge with the side of the foot. For each new row of stitching, simply change the needle position. There are three zigzag stitches on the Asante, a standard zigzag and two elastic zigzags. You can overcast edges to minimize raveling or use it creatively by making stitch adjustments. One of the most common adjustments is satin stitch for applique. Select the zigzag stitch and reduce the stitch length setting to 0.5 or smaller. Presser foot N gives you a clear view of the stitching and the cutaway channel on the other side allows dense stitching to pass through smoothly and evenly. Fuse an applique design to the background fabric. Be sure to place tearaway stabilizer underneath to support the stitches. Stitch around the cut edges of the applique, guiding so the left swing of the stitch falls in the applique and the right swing of the stitch falls just over the edge and into the background fabric. The Asante certainly sews a beautiful satin stitch. The next six stitches on this utility stitch screen are overcast stitches. When you select an overcast stitch, the screen suggests you use presser foot J or presser foot G. You'll use this stitch on lightweight to medium fabrics. This stitch is for thick or heavy fabrics. This stitch is for thick stretch fabrics. This is for medium stretch fabrics. Use these two stitches on stretch fabrics. Select this stitch and use presser foot G. On presser foot G, this runner extends lower than the base of the foot, so it guides the edge of the fabric perfectly straight. And this narrow bar underneath the foot keeps the fabric flat as you sew and prevents it from puckering or tunneling under the stitches. The stitch selected is great for finishing seam allowances. Place the fabric edge along the guide of the foot and sew. It's easiest to cut out all the pattern pieces first, overcast the raw edges, then construct the garment. Select this overcast stitch because it's ideal for seaming knits and attaching rib trim since it seams and finishes at the same time. For garments that have a half inch to a 5 8 inch seam allowance, so, then trim the fabric close to the stitching. Now that's a professional looking finish. The zipper foot eye that comes with the Asante is designed to stitch next to a raised edge and it snaps on for added convenience. Select center needle straight stitch. Touch this key and the necessary adjustment for zipper insertion will be made. To attach the zipper foot, touch this lever on the back of the presser bar to release the foot. Position the zipper foot so the bar across the foot aligns with the groove on the shank. Lower the presser bar to snap the foot into place. Position the zipper foot to the left of the needle when the zipper is sewn to the right side of the needle. Change the position of the foot to sew down the other side of the zipper. Machine quilting has never been easier than with the combination of the walking foot and the presser foot lifter on the Asante. To attach the walking foot to the machine, Turn the machine off and raise the needle and presser bar. 
Remove the presser foot and the presser foot holder. Attach the adapter by pressing it up onto the end of the presser bar as far as possible and tighten the screw. Place the connecting lever on the walking foot to the needle fixing screw and place the foot onto the presser bar. Lower the presser foot and tighten the screw. Touch the straight stitch in the center needle position. Safety pin or baste the fabric layers and batting together at intervals to prevent shifting. Mark quilting lines at desired intervals. Place the fabric sandwich under the walking foot, centering the needle on the first line. Then sew using the line as a guide. This decorative stitch is a great alternative for machine quilting because it simulates the look of hand quilting. By lowering the feed dogs and using presser foot cue, you can create beautiful effects by using freeform quilting techniques. Practice by guiding fabric at an even steady speed to create outline quilting, echo quilting, and stippling. The Asante has two blind hem stitches. One is designed to sew on woven fabrics and the other for sewing on stretch fabrics. Both stitches use presser foot R. The edge on this presser foot will guide the fabric perfectly for precise invisible stitching. If you can't remember the folding procedure for blind hemming, the Asante has that information at your fingertips. Press this key, select blind hem stitch, then your stitch choice. An animated illustration will appear on the screen. Simply touch here to advance to the next page for complete instructions. Turn up the finished edge to the desired hem length, then fold it back, leaving a quarter inch ledge. Place the fabric under the foot so that the final fold aligns with the guide edge on the underside of presser foot R. Adjust the needle position using the stitch width adjustments until the needle just catches the fold of the fabric. It's really that easy to sew nearly invisible hems on woven or knit fabrics. Advance to the next page of stitch selections to display the 10 buttonhole styles on the Asante. All of the styles use presser foot A. Use this buttonhole for suits and overcoats and this one for blouses and shirts. Use these for jeans or slacks and these two for thick coats. Sew this buttonhole on lightweight or medium fabrics. This is the one that's used for stretch fabrics with a coarse weave. And this one is used for lightweight stretch fabrics. The next style is used for the first step in making a bound buttonhole. Using the marker that's provided with the Asante, mark the beginning, end, and center position of the buttonhole on your fabric. Attach the foot to the presser bar. Place one of the buttons into the sizing gauge of the special buttonhole presser foot A. Now the buttonhole will be custom sized automatically. Align the red marks on the foot with the marked beginning and center position on your fabric. Press the needle down button twice to place the thread under the presser foot. Then lower the foot. Pulling down this lever activates the buttonhole mechanism. Position the lever behind the metal bracket on the buttonhole foot. 
If you should try to sew without the lever in position, your friendly Asante will flash a help message so you can correct an error. With over 30 built-in error messages, the Asante helps take the mistakes out of sewing. Gently hold the end of the upper thread and begin sewing. Notice that it straight stitches the side first, which stabilizes the side of the buttonhole and prevents stretching later. Then it zigzags in reverse. For side two, it straight stitches to stabilize, forms the bar tack, zigzags in reverse, then forms a second bar tack and locks the stitch. The beauty of the Asante's buttonhole is that sewing both sides of the buttonhole in the same direction creates an even balanced appearance. The Asante will automatically stop with the reinforcement stitch. If the automatic thread cutting key is activated before sewing, the machine will cut both threads automatically when the sewing is complete. To avoid cutting the threads when cutting the buttonhole open, place a bead of seam sealant on the stitches, then let it dry. Place a straight pin on each end of the buttonhole then use a seam ripper that comes with your Asante to cut the hole. That pin prevents any accidental cuts. Perfect results every time. Of course, by adjusting the stitch width and length settings, you can customize the density of the stitch. Stitching over a cord like buttonhole twist or pearl cotton creates a bolder buttonhole. Begin with a 10 inch strand of cord. Loop its midpoint over the toe at the back of the buttonhole foot. Slip the ends into the slots at the front of the foot. The stitching will form right over the cord. When it's complete, remove the fabric from the machine and pull the ends of the cord to hide the loop under the far bar tack. Snip away the excess cord length and it's that easy to make a professional corded buttonhole. The movable buttonhole foot A is also used for the automatic bar tack stitch. This stitch is great for reinforcing pocket corners and belt loops. Use the gauge to set the bar tack length you want. Lower the buttonhole lever positioning it behind the metal bracket on the foot. Lower the foot and sew. Three rows of straight stitch plus a covering zigzag give you unequal durability. The automatic darning stitch takes care of little rips and tears in fabric and the stitches blend almost invisibly when a color coordinated thread is used. The process works like this. Set the sliding gauge of foot A for the desired darning length. Select this darning pattern on the touch screen for a medium or this for a heavy fabric. Pull down the buttonhole lever into position and sew. The machine forms parallel rows of straight stitching, then sews over those stitches with a wide side-to-side -side stitch. The stitch length and width can be changed to match the size of the tear. It's exactly the stitch pattern you may have done before by hand, but now the Asante makes it fully automatic. It couldn't be easier. The same touch screen also offers rounded eyelets in three sizes. Use them for belts or lace-up effects in decorative designs. It's amazingly simple. Touch here and the large eyelet is automatically selected. Touch the stitch with adjustment arrow to set the medium or small size. Attach presser foot in as the machine recommends. Place the fabric under the presser foot and sew. Use the eyelet punch that comes with the accessories 
to punch out the center area and the eyelet is complete. The next stitch on the screen is used to sew on buttons. Attach presser foot end and lower the feed dogs. To lower the feed dogs, remove the extension tray. Push the feed dog adjustment lever to the right, then replace the extension tray. With the presser foot M attached, slide the button into the foot, aligning the holes of the button with the red marks on the foot. Turn the hand wheel to check that the needle easily goes into each of the holes in the button. If not, adjust the stitch width and check it again. Start sewing. The machine will automatically stop when it's complete. Repeat this step if extra strength is needed. When it's complete, pull the bobbin thread to bring up the top thread to the reverse side and tie the threads together. It's easy to make a thread shank when sewing on buttons. Push the shank lever forward to extend this prong. The stitches will form over the prong and create a shank. When the sewing is complete, remove the fabric. Wrap the ends around the shank and tie them together. Tie the ends of the bobbin thread together on the reverse side. Return the feed dog to the up position. Candle wicking by machine is a simple way to enhance applique or other machine embroidery. Embellishing this embroidered heart with candle wicking will be a stunning effect. Use the button sewing stitch and presser foot M for this technique. Touch the scissors to activate the automatic thread cutting. Mark the placement of each candle wicking stitch. Align the foot on top of the mark on the fabric and sew. Sew twice on each mark to create a raised effect. Sew on each mark around the entire design using the automatic thread cutting to cut the thread before and after each stitch. This basting stitch is ideal when you need to test the fit of a garment before sewing the seams permanently. The stitch length choices are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 millimeters. Highlight the reverse button and automatic thread cutter to lock the beginning and end of the seam. Simply sew the two layers of fabric together. When the seam has been permanently stitched, the basting stitch is easy to remove. This special applique stitch is similar to the blanket stitch. This is a great stitch to add decorative detail to a finished garment edge. The stitch width and length are adjustable. Turn under the seam allowance on the applique. Secure the edges with the applique stitch to simulate hand embroidery. The smocking stitch is another stitch on the Asante that has traditionally been sewn by hand. With the Asante, the instructions and settings are built in. Touch the sewing technique key, then select gathering. Scroll through the five pages of instructions for specific detail. Touch N to return to the original screen. Sew several rows of gathering stitches on the fabric. The Asante has automatically selected the straight stitch in the left needle position. Lengthen the stitch to four millimeters and loosen the tension settings for perfect gathering stitches. Sew and adjust the gathers to the desired length. Select the smocking stitch and sew between the gathering stitches. When the sewing is complete, remove the gathering threads. 
What a beautiful finish. The next three patchwork stitches can add extra detail and dimension by simply stitching over the top of a joined seam. Try a contrasting thread for extra emphasis. The fagoting stitch was used to add the exquisite detail to this blouse and this dress. The effect is soft and delicate. Select this fagoting stitch. Press under the fabric edges and baste them to a strip of dissolving stabilizer, maintaining an even 0.4 centimeter distance between the edges. Sew the fagoting stitch down the center of the open space, guiding it so the stitches just catch the fabric edges on either side. When the sewing is completed, Remove the basting stitches and stabilizer. Isn't that beautiful? There are many decorative techniques that can be done in the utility stitch category on the Asante. You can create a shell tuck hem by using this decorative stitch. I'll select the widest stitch width and increase the tension. Sew along the folded edge of the soft nylon trico so the right hand needle swing drops just over the fabric edge. The zigzag portion of the stitch pulls in the edge to create a dainty scallop. This is a lovely finish for a slip or a free hanging skirt lining. There are excellent heirloom stitches in the utility stitch category on the Asante. Here's an example of just how effective those stitches can be. The Asante comes with a twin needle and an extra spool pin. The extra spool pin is placed here on the bobbin winder shaft. The twin needle has a single shaft with two needles attached. The needle is inserted in the needle bar with the flat side toward the back, just like a single needle. Both needle threads are threaded through the same threading path and then each needle eye is threaded individually. The twin needle can be used with other stitches as well. Just make sure that the stitch width adjustment allows the needles to clear the opening of the presser foot. To check that, turn the hand wheel manually in order to make sure the needles are not hitting the presser foot. Decrease the stitch width setting if necessary. Another special effect in heirloom sewing can be created by using a wing needle. The wing needle has a flange on either side that pushes the fabric fiber aside, creating a hole that's encased with stitches. Insert the wing needle into the needle bar with the flat side toward the back. For the best results, fabrics made from natural fibers are recommended. Fabrics that work well for hem stitching are handkerchief linen, cotton organdy, organza, and batiste. The fabric must have body for the holes to remain open. To aid in achieving this effect, apply spray starch to the fabric. You can also use a liquid stabilizer. Look at the elegant effect hem stitching creates. Use hem stitching on heirloom projects like table linens, dresser scarves, blouses, christening gowns, baby bonnets, and more.
Patching, mending, and quilting are easier than ever thanks to Asante's directional feed. Not only can you sew forward and reverse, you can also sew sideways and diagonally. On this screen of utility stitches, select the horizontal, straight, or zigzag stitch indicated with the arrows and sew. You don't have to struggle with the awkward job of turning the fabric. Just let the machine change the stitching direction instead. It's never been easier. This category of stitches is called utility stitches, but it certainly extends sewing far beyond the mere basics. The next category we'll explore is character and decorative stitch. Thread choice adds greatly to the impact of any design. For example, the red thread added to this shadow work pillow lends a touch of elegance to the design. Decorative stitching done in blue thread on white denim sets off a stunning contrast to the blue denim fabric with the floral pattern on this vest. When stitching larger letters or motifs, especially on soft, lightweight, or stretchable fabrics, use some type of stabilizer under the fabric for smoother stitches. The information screen on the Asante offers tips on using stabilizers. There are many types from which to choose, including fusibles, tearaway, and washaway types. There are even liquid stabilizers that can be rinsed out. Experiment to find the type you like best for various applications. Touch character decorative stitch for a selection of letters, numbers, and symbols and a variety of decorative stitch categories. Begin with the block alphabet. The computer pre-selects uppercase letters and the larger of the two available sizes. It's easy to program in a sequence of characters. Simply touch the letter or number and it will be displayed at the top of the screen. Touch the lowercase symbol to change the lowercase letters, then select a letter. Touch the uppercase symbol to return to capital letters. Touch S to change to a smaller size, and touch L to return to the larger size. Follow this example to enter a series of letters or numbers. February 14th, be mine. Touch the F and it appears on the screen. Touch here for lowercase letters, then touch E and B. Touch here to display the numbers and symbols. Select the period, space, and then one and four. Touch here to return to the uppercase letters. Touch B, touch here for lowercase, then touch E, select a space, then uppercase M, lowercase I, N, E. Oh, if the wrong letter or number is entered, touch clear, and the last letter entered will be eliminated. Then re-enter the letter correctly. Touch check to review the sequence you've input. Touch close, then touch the scissor symbol to activate the automatic thread cutting. Then simply place the fabric under the foot and sew. As many as 70 characters or spaces can be entered at one time. If a longer sequence is needed, 
Just program in the first 70 letters, stitch them, then, leaving the fabric in place in the machine, simply enter the remaining characters and continue sewing. Well, there it is. February 14th, be mine. Because the scissors symbol was highlighted, the Asante automatically cuts the threads at the end. Trim away the connecting threads between the letters. To sew the same sequence of letters at any time, store it in one of the Asante's 12 memory pockets. Simply touch memory on the screen and it will be saved. It takes approximately 10 seconds to save combined stitch patterns. To call up that sequence at any time in the future, simply touch Memory Recall, and three categories are displayed, Character Decorative Stitch, Embroidery, and Embroidery Edit. Touch the category in which the pattern combination was saved. Touch Character Decorative Stitch. The pockets that are highlighted indicate stored information. To preview the information, touch a pocket and the pattern in memory is displayed. Touch another pocket to view that saved pattern. When the pattern of choice is displayed, touch Retrieve, and the screen returns to the original category in which the pattern was created. Now it's ready to sew. To empty a memory pocket, touch Memory Recall. Then select the Character Decorative Stitch category. Then highlight the pattern to be deleted and touch Delete. Touch Here to cancel the command. Touch Confirm to delete. The programming sequence is exactly the same for all three number and letter sets in the Character Decorative Stitch category. When exact positioning of a design from this category is critical, use the pattern sheet to mark the placement. To embroider an initial in the corner of this handkerchief, place the letter A, shown on the pattern sheet, on the fabric in the position where it is to be sewn. Use a marking pencil that comes with the Asante to mark the fabric through the perforation point on the pattern sheet. This illustration on the pattern sheet shows the exact needle placement. Remove the pattern sheet and insert the needle into the marked point and the sewing placement is set. Begin sewing gently, holding the fabric. To create oversized letters, the multi-directional feed moves the fabric right to left as well as backward and forward. It's that easy. In the Character Decorative Stitch category, there are over 90 stitch patterns available in two sizes. Touch here to view the first page of choices. Touch here to move forward through the pages. Touch here to move back through the pages. Once a pattern is selected, touching here can designate the large or small size. Touch here to stitch a single or repeating pattern. Place the fabric under the foot and sew. Some of the best built-in designs are the 42 millimeter decorative stitches that can be used for creating borders, bold top stitching, and quilting. For an even bolder stitching effect, use a heavier thread in the bobbin. For the top thread, use an all-purpose sewing thread. On the wrong side of the fabric, place a piece of stabilizer with a guideline to follow. Begin sewing on the wrong side of the fabric, with the right side of the fabric down. 
What a stunning effect this border creates on a jacket. The satin stitch selection in the character decorative stitch category shows a group of basic geometric patterns. Touch here to display the choices. These stitches can be combined and customized by using a variety of options. Select a pattern and touch R for a repeating sequence or S for a single pattern. The patterns can also be combined. Touch clear to remove the last pattern entered. Patterns can be elongated without changing the stitch width or length. Select the desired degree of elongation, then the pattern, touch repeat, and sew. Here is an example of the diamond pattern stitched in the five elongation choices. Select a pattern and touch here to display the stitch length and stitch width settings. Make adjustments and touch close. The tension settings can also be changed with a simple touch of this screen. Touch here to decrease the tension and touch here to increase the tension. Touch close. To perfect a stitch for a particular project, experiment with the various settings, then test so. A special look can be added to garments, linens, and craft items by using the built-in satin scallop stitch on the Asante. Place stabilizer underneath the fabric. Set the elongation to five, then select this scallop stitch. Shorten the stitch length to 0 0.3. Sew along a one-inch guideline. To turn the corner, as it approaches, select S for single pattern. The machine will automatically stop at the end of the last stitch. With the needle down, raise the presser foot using the presser foot lifter and pivot the fabric. Touch R for repeat and continue sewing. Using the single and repeat pattern in combination with the scallop stitch, you can achieve a beautiful corner with very little effort. When stitching is complete, coat the stitched edge with a liquid seam sealant. Let it dry, then use embroidery scissors to trim the excess fabric close to the stitches. What an elegant effect. Select a single diamond, then touch the upward arrow and another single diamond. The second diamond will now be stitched a half motif higher than the first. Touch the downward arrow and repeat. The third diamond will appear on the fabric a half motif down from the second one, in line with the first diamond, and on and on in sequence. Touch check to confirm the pattern. Touch close. When sewn, it creates a unique effect. Cross stitch patterns are also available in the character decorative stitch category. Touch here and the screen shows the 10 choices. One single motif of each design. Select a design to be sewn and select repeat or single motif. Tension adjustments can be made from this screen. The patterns can also be combined. Touch clear to delete the last pattern entered. Touch check to confirm the sequence. The sequence can also be stored in memory. Insert the fabric and sew. That's all there is to it. What an easy way to personalize kitchen towels and sheets. Stitches in the decorative stitch edit category
can be combined and edited as desired. Touch here to view the first page of Stitch Choices. Touch here to move through the pages. Touch here to move back through the pages. Touch here to adjust the tension. Touch here to save a combination to memory. Touch here to stitch a repeat or single pattern. Touch here for horizontal mirror image and here for vertical mirror image. Touch here to adjust the width and length of a stitch. Select this stitch, then touch here for horizontal mirror image and select the stitch again. What a beautiful combination! Touch memory to save this combination. Select this stitch and then touch here for vertical mirror image and select the stitch again. That's another good combination. Select this stitch, then this stitch. What a gorgeous border this combination will make. The Asante has so many easy to use built-in features, it seems like a sewer's dream come true. And the potential for creating expression using the options in the character decorative stitch category are endless. The most exciting and distinguishing feature of the Asante is the ultimate creative potential found in computer programmed embroidery. Setting up the Asante for embroidery is easy. The Asante comes with a fully contoured durable case which also houses the embroidery unit. Open the cover, release the Velcro tab, and carefully remove the unit. Next, raise the needle to the highest position by pushing this button twice. Raise the presser foot, turn off the Asante, and remove the foot controller. Remove the presser foot and presser foot holder by pushing in here and pulling down. Take care not to touch the needle while exchanging presser feet. Push the button on the left of the embroidery foot, Q, and install the foot by pushing it up into position with both hands. Slide the extension tray off. Move the protective cover by rotating it to the right. Then slide the embroidery mechanism into place around the free arm. Turn on the Asante and this message will display on the screen. Touch the check key and the embroidery arm will move into position for embroidery. While the embroidery arm is moving, it will make a sound. Don't be alarmed, this is normal. When embroidering multiple color designs, it isn't necessary to change bobbin thread color at all. The tensions are set so the bobbin thread doesn't show on the top side of the design. So one white bobbin can be used throughout. A lightweight lingerie thread is a good choice for bobbins because it helps eliminate bulk on the underside of the embroidery. If a lot of embroidery will be done, wind several bobbins ahead of time so extras will be ready. If the bobbin runs low, the Asante gives an advanced warning with this message. There will be enough bobbin thread to finish the color section, then insert a full bobbin. Choosing the proper needle and stabilizer for the fabric to be embroidered is an important part of the overall success of an embroidery design. There are several types of embroidery needles and stabilizers on the market to help in giving you those great results every time. Be sure to refer to the Asante workbook for information on needles and stabilizers. There are four embroidery hoops included with the Asante. To place fabric into the embroidery hoop, place the outer section of the embroidery hoop on a flat work surface with the prongs to the left and the adjustment screw at the bottom. With a water-soluble marker, mark the design center position on the fabric. 
Place the transparent grid in the inner hoop with the finger hole in the upper right hand corner. Align the center line of the grid with the marking on the fabric. Place the fabric and the inner hoop into the outer hoop. Tighten the adjustment screw. Remove the grid. Slide the hoop under the needle and presser foot. Use the presser foot lifter to raise the presser bar extra high. Attach the mounting bracket of the hoop into the pins of the embroidery unit. Push down until it clicks into place. The screen now displays a choice of built-in embroidery patterns. There are three styles of letters and numbers, one-point patterns, frame patterns, and an oversized alphabet with floral design. Touch this symbol to use a pre-programmed embroidery card. Select this block style lettering. The touch screen displays capital letters, or touch here to use lowercase. Touch here for numbers and punctuation, and here for symbols. Large, medium, and small sizes are available. Using the large size, program in the word Fiesta. The programming procedure is the same procedure used for character decorative stitch. This error message informs me this sequence of letters is too large for the width of the frame. I'll simply select the 90 degree rotation symbol to turn the direction in which the pattern is sewn and then I can add more letters. Or I could touch check then highlight medium to reduce the letter size. Enter the remaining letters of the word. When Fiesta is stitched the Asante will embroider all the letters until the word is complete. When the multicolor key is highlighted, the Asante will stop after sewing each letter so thread color can be changed. The design is ready to be embroidered, so I'll touch the memory key and save it to be sewn at a later time. There are 12 additional memory pockets available when using the embroidery function of the Asante. The jumbo hoop is great for stitching out words or phrases without having to reposition the fabric within the hoop. Mark a guideline on the right side of the fabric at the desired location of the letters. Place the fabric into the jumbo hoop and line up the marked guideline with the marks on each side of the hoop. Attach the hoop to the machine, placing the last two pins into the mounting bracket. Select this style of block letters. Program in Baby. When this message appears, touch the 90 degree symbol. Now you can program in the Y and then the L. Touch Layout and then Image to view the letters. Right now the needle is positioned at the center of the design. Touch the Start Center key to reposition the needle at the start point of the design. Use the arrow to line up the needle with the marked guideline. Touch Return, then Start to begin stitching. The Asante will continue to stitch until all the letters that have been entered are embroidered. When the stitching is complete, push the release lever to reposition the hoop placing the first two pins onto the mounting then clear the screen. When the screen is cleared, you can program in OCK to complete the word baby lock. 
Touch layout and the start center key. Touch the 90 degree symbol to reposition the letters. Use the arrow keys to line up the needle at the last basting stitch sewn. Touch trial to check placement. Touch the start button to begin stitching. Lining up a sequence of letters has never been easier. A whimsical group of built-in embroidery patterns on the Asante is called one-point patterns. Touch embroidery, then touch the one-point pattern key, and the first page of patterns is displayed. Touch here to view the next page in this category. Touch this symbol to return to the previous page of designs. Touch the desired pattern and the screen will show a new page with information about the design. The flowers will be sewn in four stages using four colors of thread. These thread colors are suggestions for reference only. Of course, any color of thread can be used to sew the design. The exact size of the design is shown here and it will take three minutes to embroider. The tension can be adjusted if needed or, if another design is desired, touch embroidery, then the one-point symbol, and the one-point patterns are displayed. Select the eagle. There are now six color changes, and the design will take six minutes to sew. Touch embroidery, then the one-point symbol, and select the sailboat. Touch layout to move to a new screen. This screen shows the dimensions the design will fill and the position within the hoop. Now it is centered. The highlighted hoop indicates that the design can be embroidered using the large or medium size hoop. Touch the start center key and this center mark will move to indicate the beginning needle position. The directional arrows will reposition the design within the hoop, up or down, left or right, and even diagonally. Notice as the position changes, the hoop option also changes. Touch center to return the design to the original position. Touch here to view the image. Touch here and the design is reversed. Use the 90 degree rotation feature to rotate the design. By touching trial, the hoop will move under the needle, outlining the exact area the design will fill. Touch return, and the pattern color segments are displayed. The design is ready to be sewn. To begin stitching, lower the presser foot. In this position, you'll notice the foot doesn't quite touch the fabric surface. Touch the start button. Take a few stitches and stop the machine. Touch the automatic thread cutter button to snip the beginning threads, then touch start and allow the machine to continue on its own. Notice that the needle and presser foot are simply moving up and down in place. The mounting bar to which the hoop is attached is actually moving the fabric front and back, left and right, to create the design. This allows far more precise stitching than is possible with side-to-side -side needle movement and is the reason the finished embroidery on the Asante has such a smooth and professional quality appearance. The Asante automatically stops when the first color section is completely stitched. Raise the presser foot before changing threads to release the upper thread tension. Clip the thread near the spool and remove the thread by pulling here at the needle. This helps prevent the thread from wrapping around the tension rollers. With the presser foot raised, the new thread will slip into the tension mechanism it's easier to use the needle threader when the presser foot is lowered. Lowering the presser foot holds the thread firm. 
Press Start to sew a few stitches, then stop and clip the threads. Press Start again, and the Asante will skillfully sew the next segment of the design. It's so rewarding to watch as the design begins to take shape. Notice that the machine speed varies, sewing faster in some places of the design and more slowly in others. The needle speed is timed by the computer to coordinate with the movement of the fabric. When the fabric has to move a larger distance between two stitches, the needle goes more slowly to accommodate that. When the distance is smaller, the needle can stitch more quickly. It's amazing that you can create such a darling design in just four minutes. The built-in embroidery frame patterns on the Asante are extremely versatile. Select Embroidery and this symbol to display 12 frame shape options. Select a shape and 12 stitch choices are shown. Select a stitch and this information screen appears. The screen shows the exact dimensions of the design and the amount of time it will take to sew. For sewing advice, touch here for additional information. The thread density and tension can be adjusted for frame patterns by touching here. Touch the left arrow to make the stitches coarser or less dense. Touch the right arrow to make the stitches finer or more dense. Touch here to weaken or here to strengthen the tension. Touch close. Touch here to display the layout screen. The same options are available in this category as with the one point patterns with the addition of this size key. Touch here, then here, to enlarge the design. Notice the new dimensions are displayed. Touch here to make the frame pattern smaller. Touch here when the size selection is complete. Touch trial to preview the design placement. If the placement isn't just right, it can always be changed. What a handy feature. The large floral alphabet is one of the most stunning built-in patterns on the Asante. Whether they are sewn in pastel or bright contrasting colors, the effect is marvelous. Select Embroidery, then this key. Page through the screens to select the letter of choice. The screen displays the sewing sequence. Touch Layout, then Image to view the design. Size change, mirror image, and rotation are also available. Notice that the large hoop is highlighted on the screen to be used when stitching these letters. Touch Trial to preview the position within the hoop. Touch here to return to the screen showing pattern color segments. These large letters can be embroidered without the floral designs or embroider the floral designs without the letters. Touch Help and a new set of options is available. The Help screen on the Asante allows you to move back and forth through the design without stitching. Touch Forward Search to move to the next color segment of the design. Touch Reverse Search to move back to the previous color segment. The highlighted color segment will always be sewn first. Touch Forward to move through the design one stitch at a time. Touch back to move in reverse one stitch at a time. Touch home to display all the color segments. The Asante sews an outline of the letter first. Then it fills the letter with coarsely spaced stitches called undersewing. This helps stabilize the embroidered satin stitches and adds extra dimension to the completed design. To complete the letter, the Asante automatically satin stitches over the undersewing. Oh, that beep is an alert that there's a thread break. Amazingly, the Asante senses the break, stops the machine, and flashes a message on the screen. Just re-thread 
then back up to the point of the design where the break first occurred, so there won't be a gap in the design. Touch Help to bring up the repositioning screen. Touch Back and the Asante will work through the design in reverse without sewing step by step until it reaches the point where the stitching was interrupted. Now the Asante is ready to finish the letter. When the letter is completely sewn, you have the option of adding the floral designs or leaving the letter alone as a completed design. The built-in embroidery patterns on the Asante certainly provide a wide variety of design options. The pre-program cards expand those options even more. To get you started, two pre-programmed cards are included with the Asante and dozens more are available through your favorite Baby Lock retailer. With new embroidery cards being developed all the time, you'll want to check with your retailer often. To use the embroidery cards, turn off the Asante and insert one of the embroidery cards into the slot at the right. It will click into place. Turn on the Asante and embroidery is automatically selected. Touch here for the embroidery card display and the first page of designs is displayed on the touch screen. Select one of those designs or touch this symbol to view more choices. Select this design. The screen displays the design in its various color components and shows the dimensions and the time it will take to sew. Highlight the S and the design will be sewn in a smaller size. Touch multicolor to join those components and to stitch the design in a single color instead. The layout and help screens provide the same options available with built-in embroidery. The alphabet and crest card provides beautiful designs in six different styles. The screen displays the various lettering styles. All the styles except Old English include both capital and lowercase letters as well as numerals and each style is available in three different sizes. The letters and numbers are entered in just the same way as the built-in letters and numbers. There are five crests available on the letter card as well. Imagine the wonderful designs that can be created. Using the Asante's fantastic embroidery edit feature, built-in and card designs can be combined embellished and enhanced in no time at all. Touch Embroidery Edit and the pattern options are displayed. Since the alphabet card is already placed in the Asante, touch here to display the card options. Select the crest symbol. You have the choice of large or small. Simply touch a crest and it is displayed at the top of the screen. With each selection, the new choice is displayed. Touch Set and the selected pattern is displayed in the center of the design field on the left of the screen. Touch End and the pattern groups are displayed again. Select Cards, the Old English letter style, and the B. Touch Set and the letter is displayed in the center of the design field on the left. Touch End, then End Edit and the design combination is ready to be sewn or to be saved in memory. Just touch memory if you want to save the design. There are an additional 15 memory pockets available when using the embroidery edit. For another embroidery edit exercise, touch embroidery edit and this group of built-in letters. Select the name Nicole. Oops, too large. Touch the 90 degree symbol to enter the remaining letter. Touch set to display the entry. The 90 degree rotation feature utilizes the length of the large hoop so the pattern will be sewn vertically. 
On the embroidery edit screen, you can choose from character spacing, size, rotate, and array. The large size really fills the frame too much. Touch here, then here to reduce the size. That looks better. Touch end size change. Touch array to change the shape of the letters. There are six array symbols to choose from. Select this style, then end array assignment. That looks great. Touch end, then select frames. Select the heart shape and the vine stitch. Rotate the frame and increase the size. Nicole still looks too large. Touch select to highlight Nicole, then size to reduce the letters. Touch end size change. You can also select character spacing to increase or decrease the spacing between the letters. When complete, touch end spacing edit. The highlighted pattern can also be repositioned using the arrows. When complete, touch end. Touch correct to return to the editing screen or touch end edit. This design can be sewn in one color or multicolor. Touch here and here to return to the edit screen. Spacing, sizing, rotate, array, and curve are available again. Touch and edit. The design can also be saved in memory. Touch layout. The combined designs are now treated as one pattern and can be repositioned within the hoop simultaneously. Touch return. Now the new screen displays the pattern size and the time it will take to sew. This design could be sewn now, but let's save it to memory. Touch memory to save the design. Here is an embroidery combination that's lots of fun. Select the B from the large floral alphabet in the embroidery edit mode and touch end. Touch one point patterns and select the bear and set. Use the arrows to reposition the bear. Touch end. Select one point patterns and then the blocks and set. Reposition the blocks, touch end and one point patterns and the balloons, then set. Reposition the balloons up and to the left and rotate them five degrees to 355 degrees. Touch end rotation. Select one point patterns one last time and choose this bell, then set. Reposition the bell up and to the right, and then touch mirror image. Touch end and end edit to display the sewing screen. First embroider the B only, then touch help, and then forward search to bypass the floral designs. Now the bear is displayed and ready to embroider. Simply continue to sew the remaining color segments. Let's add an element to a design saved in memory. Insert the fruit and floral card in the Asante. Touch memory recall and embroidery edit. The highlighted pockets indicate that a pattern has been saved and the percent of memory it is using. This number indicates the amount of memory space remaining. Touch a pocket to view the saved design. This is the pattern we will re-edit. Touch retrieve. Touch re-edit to add another element to the design. Touch the card symbol and select the strawberries. And touch set. Rotate the design, decrease the design, and then move it down. It looks perfect. Touch end and end edit. And it's ready to sew. What a great feature. To return the Asante to conventional sewing, touch embroidery, then here to return the embroidery arm to storage position. Turn the machine off. 
Push this release button to remove the embroidery unit. Close this protective cover, replace the accessory compartment, and change the presser foot. I know you enjoyed seeing all the wonderful features the Baby Lock Asante has to offer. The Asante can help you sew professional and creative projects every time. If you have any questions or comments, please write us at Baby Lock USA, P.O. Box 730, Fenton, Missouri 63026, or visit us at our website, www.babylock.com. <laughs>